Well, hello everybody and welcome back to The Lynn Life. A uh, few changes. I was going to put a different video up this week, but Lynn ended up in the emergency room on Thursday. She's doing fine. We're going to talk about that more and a little bit later. So what I decided to do is come to one of my clients' car shows. There's a car show going on today at a car dealership, Victory Chrysler's car dealership. And I said, let's just go there and use that as a background so I can tell you a little bit more about Lynn. And we're going to show you some really cool cars. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn life. Well, we're at the car show. Beautiful day. Some beautiful cars to take a look at. And I've been asked to be a judge. <laughs> I don't know much about all these cars, but uh, I will go through it and uh, figure out some of my favorites here and mark it down. I've been asked to be judges before, but I've been uh, I've refused other years. <laughs> so, but this year I guess I'm going to do it. But back to Lynn. Lynn is fine. But she did uh, uh, did end up in the emergency room with what uh, appeared to have been a seizure, and uh, I was actually on my way here to this dealership to shoot a television commercial, and had to turn around. I stopped in here, told him I can't, couldn't do it, so we rescheduled, and I went back home. My son was taking care of everything there. Thank God he was there. And uh, she went to the emergency room in, a, in an ambulance. And um, I went home, grabbed my son. We both went to the hospital. And uh, turns out she has COVID. And um, I, I ended up having COVID too. Um, I'm no longer uh, contagious. This is, I think this is my eighth or ninth day. I had had what I thought was a cold, not, and it turned out to be COVID. And uh, apparently she had one too, but we didn't know about it. So maybe that affected her. Plus she hadn't been sleeping and she ended up going into what looked like a seizure, but it wasn't a seizure. But she is doing better. I videotaped her yesterday because she wanted to talk to you. So here she is. Hey, Lynn. What? So uh, tell everybody how you're feeling. I just told everybody that you are uh, you had COVID and you were in the emergency room. So tell everybody how you're doing now. Good. You're doing Much good. better. Much better. Been sleeping? Yep. Yeah. And you're well, not really. Not today, huh? No. What you been watching? Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> She's been watching the Olympics. Gonna get a good rest tonight, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Lenny Poo. <laughs> Love of you. Love of you. Beautiful day. Very lucky we get a nice day here. And been asked to be a judge. Now I gotta judge all of these cars. <laughs> There's all kinds of categories. So I will go through, and uh, maybe you guys can. Uh, uh, tell me what you think as well. <laughs> so, well, I got a lot of cars to look at here. The uh, owner is a little concerned, not as many people as other years, but I think the weather that uh, we've had in the last few days here, we had the, uh, the hurricane come up through here uh, yesterday to get the remnants of it. So that might have uh, scared some, uh, some of the car owners away. But uh, still plenty of cars here. We, looks like we got an 85 Chevy Corvette. Next to Mustang. What year is this? What year is this Mustang? I gotta get in here and look at this. Since I'm a judge, I gotta, I gotta know. 2001. 2001 Mustang. Okay. See, I, I got a lot of categories for these cars here, so. And then next we got a 29 Model A rod. 
Nice looking car. I like these. I like these a lot. Here we got some Mopar magic over here. What we got? What year? I'm looking at it. 71. 71 Dodge. Dodge Challenger. Looking good. I like purple. We got another Corvette here. 63. 63 Corvette. I'll tell you right now, I like this car a lot. It's a, it's a 69 Dodge Super B. This is a nice car. <laughs> this, this, this is a nice car right here, I tell you. I like that very much. So I'm going to go back and revisit some of these afterwards because uh, rather than vlog them, and yeah, I have to go through this when I'm not vlogging. But yeah, this is a Super B. Nice car. Very nice car. Okay, this Jeep, it's like a Vietnam era Jeep. Pretty cool. I'm going to go show you. I believe the owner of the dealership owns this. I think he bought it last year at this, at this car show. Complete with that. Get the machine gun up there. It's got all the little details. The helmet. It's got, a, it's got all kinds of things in here. It's got another, another gun over there. Yeah, the Vietnam era. Pretty cool. Really fun. Okay, next we got a 64 Plymouth Fury, I believe. All right, is this a Fury? Yep. 64 Plymouth Fury. I was three years old when this car came out. And I like it. Got a 69 Dodge Dart. Another purple one. By the way, Lynn really loves purple. That's her favorite color. She liked this one. She liked the, uh, the purple dart. Look at that engine. It's a 340. You could uh, eat your dinner off any of this. Oh, look, they got a little car. Little model of it zipping around in there. That's cool. <laughs> I love little details like that. It's a beautiful car. 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. Hey, this is really bright in the sun. Again, it's under the hood is as beautiful as the outside. Look at that. Oh, they got a mirror down here so you can see how pristine it is underneath. Yeah. Ninety-nine Plymouth Prowler. You got that. Next to this tea bucket. Look at this. The Green Hornet. Very cool. I like a tea bucket. I like me a tea. This is a 23, it says here. Yeah, look at that. Nice interior. Very nice. Sixty-five Ford Mustang. Nice. Thank you. How long have you had this car? All my life. My All your life? Brand new. When I was born, I came home. Did you house. really? Yep. Bought the car. Yep. Brand, you bought it brand new. My father did. Your father yeah. did. From Stockholm Ford, just down the road. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Now Keeping it in the family. You've obviously kept it up well. Well, he gave it to me when I was 15. And if you got a second, I can show you what it looked like. So I got the owner is going to show me, but this car has been in his family since it was brand new. Brand new. Your dad bought it. My dad bought it brand new. That's my father. 
and he went to the World's Fair in 64 with his So did I. <laughs> okay, in 64? In 64, I was like three, four years old. Okay. <laughs> he was a little older than that in 64, but he saw the Mustang at the Ford yep. Pavilion. Yep, very and, familiar uh, with that. Fell in love with it and wanted to get one of his own. So this picture is this car in November of 64 when he took possession of it. Paul Ridges. Really nice. Really nice. Well, um, I tell you, it's, it's, well, it's a, it's a, your father would be very proud. Oh, yeah, well, I, I believe he sees it. And uh, I love the red stripe tires. I, I just love that anyways. You know, you know why? You know, the red Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah. That was one of the original okay. kids to, to actually have a Hot Wheel. So uh, back in the 60s, so I love red stripe tires. <laughs> Something about that. But uh, yeah, it's a nice look. Thank you. I'm glad glad you did. You got you preserved it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, like I said, made it as original as I could. Some of the documentation that comes with it is wow. Well, this is the original air cleaner uh, decal. That came. That was the original owner's manual. There's Fantastic. The window sticker and invoice from Stockholm. Wow. Stockholm Ford. Yeah. Right down the road on the boulevard. That is so cool. ID cards. And, uh, and checks. <laughs> yeah, these are the receipts for the down payment. Or receipt for the down payment. Yeah. Installment plan. Wow. Registrations. <laughs> so yeah. That's so cool. I love history. Quite well documented. And you and you've preserved it. Tried. Right. A 14 Dodge Challenger. Next to a Camaro, what year is this one? It's like a 69, yeah it is, 69, 69 Camaro. I'm gonna go through that and trying to talk over the uh, music so we don't get a, a copyright strike. That was really interesting talking to the gentleman with the uh, Mustang. I hope you could hear all that over the music. To this direction we had another Roadrunner, the beauty is a bunch of uh, trophies in the back so this is an award winner right here next to another old fury look at this fury's pretty let's go to the front so look yeah look at that fury Got a Honda trike next to that. Next to Ford Bronco. Got a fond Ford Bronco. I don't know what year that is. Does it say it's a 95? 95 Ford Bronco. And an 84 Ford F 150. This is a cute little truck. And very well taken care of. Look at that. There's a Chevelle. Nice. The interior. Looks original. Great shape though. Look at that. These are drivers. Well, these guys, they drive them. This is a brand new Ford Compass that they can't find the keys to, so it's in the show. It's in the show. <laughs> and they, they gave it a uh, best of show uh, trophy. Hey, look at that. Put a trophy on it. Why not? It's in the show. All right, here's a sweet car. 68 Dodge Dart. Look at this thing. I love how the hood's up like that. Look at this. This is a dragster right here. And that's a different category as well, dragster category. I know personally that this is the owner's car. This is one is a beautiful Mercury. He's, uh, I was actually somewhere else one time and he pulled over when he saw me and he was in this car. He pulled over to see me. I think it was in Sylvan Beach. 
on my motorcycle. But this is, yeah, this is a beautiful Mercury. If he was out here, I'd have him talk to you about it. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll pull him out here to come talk to you about this Mercury. Yes, there's, as I notice there's a Betty Boop floor thing on it. So it's uh, beautiful white interior, very blue, beautiful car. I don't even know what year it is. I'm going to have to pull him out to come out and talk to me about this car. Here you are with a highly modified 2008 Jeep Wrangler. We got a bunch of Jeeps in a row here. Wow. Oh yeah, that's a 79 Jeep. CJ7, I think it says on there. Yeah. I think it's cool about these small car show like this is I could actually take the time to look at every car as opposed to the Nationals. This is a 2023 Jeep, again modified, quite a bit. Yeah, Bob, big boy, this is Long C owner, Paul, Paul Ivani owns this car dealership and I'm going to try to get him on camera a little bit later. But he buys all kinds of interesting things. And I'm gonna give you an example right now. The Ghostbusters car, this belongs to the owner as well. He's had this for years, it's been in the show. But this is a good example of the type of stuff that he will buy. Now, Ghostbuster car. <laughs> yeah. All kinds of the, all the crazy stuff on top. That's what he. Uh, that's what he does. And another example of uh, part of the owner's interesting collection is right here. And I'm going to turn the camera around. Come on, there you go. Right here. This is an old Buick police car. What year is it? 56 Buick police car. I remember when they, he got this and it was in the showroom. Sheriff Pat Patrol, Cochise County. And inside, you got, you got the sheriff and uh, his prisoner with a very bad wig. That's in there. And I believe in the back, he used to put it on the front seat. You even got your you got the donuts and thermos of coffee in the back. Uh, this is a very cool car. He has a very interesting collection of cars. He likes cars that are different. Different than anything else anybody else might have. And I like that myself. That's what I that's what I like. If I if I had the money, I would have these guys. So I, uh, you got the Blues Brothers car here with, or not the Blues Brothers, you got the Blues Brothers with the Ghostbusters car. And the police car. Blues Brothers probably want to stay clear of the police car, right? How you doing? Jake and Ellen Blues, the Blues Brothers of Central New York. And we're here to tell you about this beautiful Jeep Compass they got here at Victory. It is uh, a uh, it's a raffle sponsored by the Capitol Arts Complex right down on Dominic Street in Rome, New York. They have the Capitol Cinema and the Capitol Theater, the beautiful Capitol Theater. Anyway, the tickets are fifty dollars a ticket. They're only going to sell fifteen hundred tickets. This is a 2024 Compass. October 19th is the drawing, so make sure you get in here. I might have to. Buy myself a ticket, Jake. What do you think? Is it the new Bluesmobile or what? Yeah, I, I, I think it'd be good. I actually it's have a one. Cigarette lighter. You know, I actually have one, just like that. Is it got a, no, it's got a cigarette lighter power port. Uh, You're all right with it. Now about the cigarette. <laughs> <Cubano. Cubano. laughs> okay, I've spoken to the owner. Tried to get him to come out. Tried to get Paul to come out and talk about his Mercury, and he's a bit camera shy. He hasn't, he hasn't been wanting to be on camera. So I got info from him though. This is a 50 Mercury. This is a very, very special car. 
It's a 50 Mercury, but it's on a 67 GTO Pontiac frame, a 67 GT, a GTO Pontiac uh, Posi Traction rear end, a 49 Plymouth bumpers, 54 Pontiac Sky Chief grille, 54 uh, Chevy parking lights, and a 64 Ford Galaxy dash, and a 64 Mercury gauge cluster. This is a custom car. This is a one-off. There's nothing else like it. It's definitely a Franken vehicle, <laughs> and it's beautiful. Let's take a look inside again. Now that we know all this, we have all this info. Look at the inside. Gorgeous. Let's go around the outside. Yeah, look at this. This is such a special car. Well, it's time for me to go around now. I gotta be judge. I've only got one car on the list. There's a huge list here. So it's time to start going around and start writing some cars down. And then I'll submit it. But, uh, yeah, this is a fun car show, small car show. There aren't as many cars here this year as there have been in other years, so the owner's a little concerned about that, but I think that, I told him, I think it's because of the hurricane that came through yesterday. The weather's been so bad, and then all of a sudden today, boom, the weather's good. So it's still, this is fun. It's a good, it's a good, good feeling here. And they got a food truck. People here are very friendly. Good place to be. Look at this, we got a 36 Dodge here. <laughs> I like the moon eyes on it there. It's another beauty. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I love me some cool cars. Someone just came up to me a minute ago and told me about this uh, Dodge Challenger. That this is a very special car. This is the last Hemi to ever come off the assembly line. I'm reading it here. It's a 71 Hemi Challenger brought, bought new from Donaldson Dodge in Krogan, New York, and it's the last e-body built, build date 6, 1671, this car, this car is, uh, is also telling me, the car was raised from Cicero, in drag strips, winning New York State Championship in Cicero, and I was told that Chrysler has tried to buy this car back from him. This is a very special car. And you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. But it is. Incredible. While the Hot Rod Lincoln tune is playing there, I think I'm going to call it a day. i got to go around and be a judge for a while, but uh, this has been fun. If you're in our area and you're looking for a new car dealership, I really do recommend this. This is where I got my car this year. It's a small car dealership, very personal. The uh, owner is usually on the, uh, on the floor. He's very reachable, and they have a, a service department with a very good record. So, Victory Chrysler in Rome, New York. Take a look, and we'll see you next time on the Lumen.